Uh, thank you, Mr. President, member of the Senate. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot from uh, the minority party about how much they expanded early voting and how they allowed opportunities. I want you to let you know that they did that in a period in which they also controlled all the election boards in the state. So I stand here and tell you about the counties I represent that out of the entire early voting time period had four hours of early voting that did not occur between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Did not occur during working hours as they systematically put it together. And I will tell you that thanks to the changes in this bill and some to the amendment that came forward, individuals working a full-time job for the, now will have for the first time the ability to early vote in my area because it's forcing them to look at hours outside of nine to five and the last Saturday of the election to put it forward. We've heard a lot about these straight ticket voting numbers. I just want everybody to know that that encourage, they are counting every individual who checks the party Republican or Democrat. Not excluding the individuals who still go through the rest of the ballot and mark every other election. They're counting anyone who marks within the party affiliation straight ticket voting. Uh, I think you will look and you will see most of the blue or yellow or red handouts that are given out at poll locations all over the state indicating a party's nominee encourages individuals to not only vote the party affiliation but vote each and every race that is coming forward. That's what's handed out. That's what's printed and given out. So of course a lot of individuals vote in that manner. A lot of people believe that it's asking which party they're in. Those results exist for why people fill that out. It is not the extensive time change that's going to happen by not having people come in and just press a button because you'll find most people don't just press a button. What I have looked for in this bill as far as election regulations is that it is time we begin to add uniformity to the system across this state. That we are starting to move to a time that based on which county you're in doesn't mean what access you have to the polls. And I think we have done great steps in moving forward to make it more uniform across this state for how early voting exists and where early voting sites are uh, in doing this, and I continue to ask for your support. Senator Blue, what purpose do you rise? To debate the bill. Senator has the floor. Thank you, Mr. President.